Welcome to eLearning at Flagstaff Hill R27 School. Want to make your own computer games? Then try the Game Salad app on your MacBook. If your game is good enough, then the Game Salad people will help with publishing it and maybe even selling it. You will have to work hard because Game Salad is complicated. It can be really exciting when your game works. The Game Salad manual has all the information for you to get started. You can find it in the Game Salad folder and data on your MacBook. There's a lot to read but it's helpful with lots of graphics. You can download the manual from the Game Salad website at http colon slash slash cookbook dot game salad dot com tutorials slash one slash parts slash 45 then scroll down to the link. Here's a quick overview of Game Salad. First, open the Game Salad app, click on blank project and then in the pop-up window, on create, rename with your first names ending with game. Leave platform selection as is. Click on the scenes tab under the green arrow. Next, click on the initial scenes so that you can edit the scene. You should see a complicated window but don't panic. Down the bottom on the left, you will see the behaviors library and two other tabs for images and sounds. At the top on the left, you will find the game inspector showing the actors tab. Click on the actors tab and then the plus icon. Double click on the new actor. You will see the actor edit tool ready for including the rules so that your game knows what to do when people playing it use the keyboard. You are now ready to experiment with designing your own game. If you want to have a go, then it will be trial and error so when things go wrong, just go back and try something different. If you would like more help, then try making a game from the game salad manual. Starting on page 10, you will learn how to move your spaceship left and right as well as up and down without disappearing off the edge of the screen. After that, you'll need to follow the manual, close the game you were doing earlier, select the new tab and then double click basic shoot em up, click the scenes tab, delete both scenes by selecting them and then click on the minus, click the plus to create a new scene. Double click the name scene 1 and change to aerial combat scene then press return. Double click the scene to get the scene editor. Click on the plus to create a new actor. Double click actor 1 and rename as player ship then press return. Drag the white player ship square to the dark scene window on the right. Double click on the white square. For the moment, leave player ship locked. Instead, click edit prototype in the upper left corner. Next, click the images tab and drag the ship over the white box and let go. Change the dimensions to 75 by 50 in attributes by clicking on the size arrow. Next, click on create rule in top right to create a new rule. You need to edit this rule name so double click in the grey title bar and rename to rule move right and press return. Click behaviors then scroll to move. Drag move over drag your behavior here and let go. Change mouse position to key. Click on the word keyboard and then click on the right arrow key. The word right should appear in the box. Change speed to 150. Try out this step by clicking on the green preview arrow. Your player ship should move to the right and then off the screen. Here's a shortcut to solve the problem. Click on the back arrow until you see inspector and actors. Click on images. Double click on ship, which is different to your player ship, in the actors window. Select the first rule move right so that there's a blue line around it. Make a note of the settings in the second row especially self.position.capital x and the less than sign and 440. Go back to your player ship and make those changes. First, click on the plus on the right. Then click on actor receives event and change to attribute. Click on the three dots after the box next to attribute. Click on your player ship then click on position. Next. Double click on capital X. You should see self.position.capital X appear in the box. Next, change the equals sign to less than. Click on the letter E for equation editor. Type in 440 and then click on the green tick to confirm. Try out this step by clicking on the green preview arrow. Your player ship should move to the right and stop at the edge of the screen. If you want your player ship to move to the left, then you can copy the rule for move right. Here's how. Click on the move right rule so that there's a blue line around it. Hold down the alt key and drag the grey title bar for the rule into the space below. Next, you need to modify this rule. First, double click in the grey title bar and rename to rule move left and press return. 
Next, click on keyboard and choose left key. Next, change direction by clicking on the letter E for equation editor. Type in 180 and then click on the green tick to confirm. Next, change the less than to greater than. Next, click on the letter E for equation editor. Type in 40 and then click on the green tick to confirm. Try out this step by clicking on the green preview arrow. Your player ship should move to the left and stop at the edge of the screen. By the way, you can do the same for move up and down. Here's how. Click on the move left rule so that there's a blue line around it. Hold down the Alt key and drag the grey title bar for the rule into the space below. Next, you need to modify this rule. First, double click in the grey title bar and rename to rule move up and press return. Next, click on keyboard and choose up key. Click on the three dots after the box next to attribute. Click on your player ship then click on position. Next, double click on Y. You should see self.position.y appear in the box. Next, change the greater sign to less than. Click on the letter E for equation editor. Type in 290 and then click on the green tick to confirm. Next, change direction by clicking on the letter E for equation editor. Type in 90 and then click on the green tick to confirm. Try out this step by clicking on the green preview arrow. Your player ship should move up and stop at the edge of the screen. Here's how for move down. Click on the move up rule so that there's a blue line around it. Hold down the Alt key and drag the rule into the space below. If you have trouble, then click on the arrow next to any of the earlier rules so that they collapse showing only the name for example. Rule move left next. You need to modify the new rule. First, double click in the grey title bar and rename to rule move down and press return. Next, click on keyboard and choose down key. Next, change the less than sign to greater than. Click on the letter E for equation editor. Type in 30 and then click on the green tick to confirm. Next, change direction by clicking on the letter E for equation editor. Type in 270 and then click on the green tick to confirm. Try out this step by clicking on the green preview arrow. Your player ship should move down and stop at the edge of the screen. You will need to read more in the game salad manual to add more features to your game. You can also get more information online at cookbook.gamesalad.com. You can view this movie as many times as you like. It's called Flagstaff Game Salad 2012. You can find it in the data folder on your MacBook. It will play in iTunes in the movie section. And you can find it on YouTube. Search by my name. Lowercase Michael no space capital L lowercase cowling. Good luck with making a game.